Hi, this is the uh, TCAP 8th grade mathematics practice test, question number 6. It wants to know which number is a rational number. A rational number is the type of number that you can make into a fraction. It doesn't continue to go on forever. Basically, it's just one that's not weird in any way. If you can break it into a nice, comfortable fraction, it doesn't babble on forever like I'm currently doing, it's rational. So the answer to number 6 is F1. It's the only one that's the most normal. But let's talk about the other ones real fast, just kind of as a quick review. I'm going to try to use this uh, nice aqua, or this kind of surfy blue that I like. 1 is a rational number. It's also an integer. It's also a counting number, so it's a uh, natural number. It's also a whole number. Uh, for natural numbers, that would be numbers that children would count. No children count zero unless they're like either geniuses or so weird that it's incomprehensible. They start with one, two, three, four. Zero didn't even need to exist for a while. And uh, so anything with zero and uh, the counting numbers is a whole number. Integers would include the negatives as long as it's negative one, negative two. Um, and then rational would be, like I said, one that's just a nice, easy number that makes a fraction. If you look at g, g's pi. Well, pi is not even a real number. Or, I'm sorry. Yes, it is. It's an irrational number. It's a real number? What was I thinking? I meant to say it's not even a rational number. It's irrational. If you put pi in the calculator, it goes on forever. It just sort of cuts itself off, but the number continues to go on and on and on and on and on. The square root of 6, anytime you see that uh, square root thing on there, unless it's one that works, you're going to have to try some of them uh, on occasion. You might have to type in the square root of something. If it's the square root of 4, for instance, that gives you 2, which is a rational number. It works out perfect. The square root of 6 goes on and on and on forever, so it's irrational. And the last one, just there's no real pattern. It seems like there would be at the end, because you've got those 114 things. But if you look here, it's 14, and then it's 114, and then it's 1,114, and it goes on and on and on. But there's really no end point to it. It won't make a nice, easy fraction. So that's also irrational. So the only one there that is rational is F. And I can't I'm sure you're like, I can't believe you went on and on so long about that question. But I covered lots of things at once. So that was the plan.